Good evening, this is Andrew West and this is Up Close and tonight we'll be at the Laurel Cemetery in downtown Marietta or historic downtown Marietta. The Laurel Cemetery was established in 1886 when a group of Marietta residents with the Marietta Historical Society bought it from the Temecula Land and Water Company. The land was part of a ranch owned by Joaquin Murrieta. The earliest known burial was a baby buried in 1863. Other early settlers had been buried there too. In 1938, the Murrieta Valley Cemetery District, a special district funded by a small portion of property taxes, was formed and began managing it. The district on May 4th launched its first website MarietaCemetery.org in hopes of bringing awareness to one of Marietta's treasures. The, the cemetery was overgrown and sorely in need of attention up until about the last decade when new homes were built nearby according to Patty D'Andrea, secretary and historian for the Marietta Valley Cemetery District. Before the office was built in 2006, staff worked out of a trailer. Prior to that, cemetery business was done out of the homes or businesses of residents, such as the Marietta Machine Shop on Washington Avenue. Some of the headstones in the cemetery date back to before the Civil War, such as one dating back to 1858. The Marietta Historical Society took over trusteeship in 1914. The public was also encouraged to search the cemetery burial records online via the website through several volunteer hours and because early records were lost when Marietta Methodist Church burned down in 1963.
That concludes our trip to Laurel Cemetery in historic downtown Murrieta. I'm Andrew West, and this is Up Close. Thank you for viewing, and have a good evening. For further information on my documentaries on historic material, please visit my website at West Graphics on YouTube. Once again, thank you for viewing and have a good evening.